Hello grade 12s and welcome to this lesson on the pH scale. In previous lessons, we have learned that in order to determine the strength of an acid or a base, we can consider ionization. A strong acid ionizes completely and a weak one does not. We've also learned that a base dissociates in water. The pH scale is also another way to determine the strength of an acid or a base. The pH scale is defined as the negative log of a concentration of a hydronium ion. This is an illustration of a section of the pH scale. pH 7 represents a substance or solution which is neutral or simply a neutral point. This shows the pH scale of a base. It ranges from 8 to 14. A substance of pH 7.1 to about pH 8 will be slightly basic, and as pH increases from 8 to 14, the basicity increases too. When an indicator is added to an acid or a base, the resulting color of the sample can be compared to the pH scale. This will determine the pH of the sample. The pH of a sample can also be determined by calculations by applying the pH formula. Let's first look at the ionization constant of water and verify the pH of water by calculation. The ionization constant of water is given as Kw is equal to the concentration of the hydronium ion multiplied by the concentration of the hydroxyl ion. The value of Kw is 10 to the exponent negative 14. The concentration of the hydronium ion and the concentration of the hydroxyl ion is equal to 10 exponent negative 7 each and therefore the pH of water can be given by the negative log of the hydronium ion and substitute by 10 to the exponent negative 7 to find an answer of 7. So the pH of water is 7. Let us do an example to illustrate how to calculate the pH of an acidic substance. An unknown solution has a concentration of hydronium ions measured to be 1 times 10 exponent negative 4 mole per cubic decimeters. Determine the pH of the solution and deduce if the solution is an acid or a base. The concentration of the hydronium ion is substituted into the pH formula and it is found that the pH is 4 and the solution is acidic. Let's look at a different example. A basic solution has the concentration of the hydroxyl ion equal to 1 times 10 exponent negative 4 mole per cubic decimeters. Determine the pH of the solution. First, we must determine the concentration of the hydronium ion from the given concentration of the hydroxyl ion and thereafter we can determine the pH of the solution. We substitute the given concentration of the hydroxyl ion into the ionization constant of water and determine the concentration of the hydronium ion. Now we can determine the pH of the solution. The concentration of the hydronium ion is substituted into the pH equation. 10 exponent negative 10 is substituted into the pH equation and the pH of the basic solution is 10. This brings us to the end of our lesson on the pH scale of an acid and a base. You'll also find more information about acids and bases at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video too. Goodbye.